but I need to, no! Oh! Now this project has been a long journey. Oh, hold on, I think that's in the way. It actually started, that sounds awful, back in February 2017, which, come to think of it, like, why did it take so long for us to get a laptop charging cart so that we can keep our laptop batteries from getting damaged? Well, you can't just send me emails in the middle of the night and expect me to conjure a laptop cart out of midair. Oh, right. Speaking of conjuring things out of midair, thanks to Be Quiet for conjuring this sponsor spot. Their white DarkBase Pro 900 features a modular design to support a variety of different layouts and configurations. Oh, look at the link in the video description to learn more. So, in all seriousness though, what did take so long? Well, we had this vision of what we wanted, but every commercial laptop cart that we could find either held too few laptops or it was limited to 17 inch devices, which clearly wasn't gonna cut it for some of the laptops that we need to store. So, I'm sure by now you guys have figured out where I'm going with this, maybe thanks to the huge proto case shipment that we're, uh, we just, well, actually we're getting ready to drag it outside for an outdoor unboxing. But for the kings of overkill, there was just no reasonable choice other than going with a fully custom solution from our BFFs over at Proto Case. But Linus, just build one out of wood, Linus. Come on, Linus. No, that's stupid. If the Note 7 taught us anything, it's that batteries sometimes, not very often, but sometimes blow up. So uh, covering the kindling in a gigantic flammable box isn't really the best idea. We want to stick with metal. So after some brainstorming with Jake, we refined our original concept and sent a package over to the design team at Protocase. Apparently, you can literally send them cell phone photos of napkin scribbles and they'll turn it into something coherent. So that makes me feel a little better about the combination of technical CAD drawings and I shit you not, MS Paint concept drawings that we put together. Huge shout out, especially to Daryl over there for all of his help turning our designs into something actually usable especially since our original concept would have weighed over 700 pounds. He made tons of great suggestions and dealt with the countless revisions and changes that Jake and I made without any complaining. At least not to us. Now I'm not gonna lie, this project didn't get done in the guaranteed two to three day production time of a typical proto case order, but the design work alone took up 42 man hours, almost five and a half working days, and the fabrication of something this complex took a pretty significant chunk of time as well. 46 individual pieces had to be cut with an industrial laser, save for the right side panel, which actually needed the CNC router treatment thanks to its 1,223 cutouts. The laser is actually so powerful, it would just warp the crap out of something with that many intricate cuts. Then, the cutters tend to leave some sharp edges and little shavings known as burrs, so each part got a quick run through the deburring machines with large stiff bristles that polish the edges down a bit, bringing us then to the glue of this build, fasteners. We did end up with a few welded joints, but we tried to keep everything as deconstructible as possible. So in total, almost 260 individual fasteners were manually pressed into the sheets of metal. These little guys are essentially threaded metal that screws can be, well, screwed into. Before moving into cosmetics like powder coat, the pieces were individually cleaned in gigantic vats of degreaser, then dried in an oven because ain't nobody got time to wait for air drying. Then the real magic happens in the paint station where the powder coating gun is charged to 100,000 volts, making the powder coat nice and electrically sticky for the metal pieces. Well, let's, uh, why don't we, you ready? Huh? You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's do this thing! <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, we're drifting, baby! Drifting, 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 
you ready? We're gonna, oh, oh my God, we gotta coordinate the efforts here. All right, let's do, do this thing. <laughs> what is that thing? You think we're gonna take this whole thing apart with that little knife? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get a bigger you one. You know what? I'm gonna have it done by the time you get back, asshole. <laughs> There's no knife, so I have scissors. <laughs> scissors, really? <laughs> These are titanium coated, okay? Oh Man. This thing weighs what, 400 pounds? Yeah. 400 and some change. 400 and change. But that's down from 700. See, it's yeah. not about the actual weight, it's about the improvement, yeah. right? Yeah. This is incredible. Here we can see the custom full frontal silkscreen job designed by Ed Yago himself. This was no easy feat. 20 separate screens were used for the design, each requiring a tedious prep process involving burning the layouts into the screen and cleaning the burnt portions with a pressure washer. And then that's all before you even think about applying the ink. So this 400 pound beast got assembled and skid shipped across the continent to our office in Vancouver. And it's time for us to charge some freaking laptops. Yeah, okay, yeah, over on the side, you can see there's six fans over here giving us airflow across the AC to DC uh, chargers, as well as like, you know, if you have a razor blade, for example, and it just decides to like, cook, randomly wake up when it's supposed to be sleeping, then this will keep it from boiling itself. So should we grab everything out? Uh, yeah, we should take this stuff out first. Right. Whoa, okay, there's a lip on that one. Man, this thing is solid. Yeah, the doors are steel, so they're like... Is this fan controller for yeah. every fan? <laughs> yes. Okay, he was like, okay. how do we power it? And I was like, uh, NZXT. You're, oh, you're just gonna... Okay. Yeah, just... Well, it's not that heavy anymore without all the drawers inside it. Oh, hold on, I'm slipping. <laughs> I'm slipping on the bubble. Kind of a big deal. Okay. Oh, God. Did you lock this wheel? Dang it, Jake. Why would you lock the wheel? I was happy about how it locks, okay. Okay, slow down. Okay, there's another cart there. How's my parking job here? Boop, 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 boop. How are we supposed to actually plug things into this top PDU? Oh God. <laughs> that's a little tricky. Well, that's a minor design oversight, Jake. Here, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So these are intended to hold the AC adapters. Captive thumb screws, check this out. See? They don't come up. And, and do they have padding on all of them? Yeah, yeah, that was the idea. And they're vented, and they're aluminum and light. We can customize it how we want. So let's see if you can do this. Okay, that's not very fun, but yes, it it can technically be done. Whoa. Just a power adapter, it's fine. Oh wait, well, here, do you want to pop the top and then, oh. <laughs> Raindrop, drop top. I got this, it'll be fine. Okay, maybe I don't. It's custom, Brandon, God. So, I mean, I realize this is a supremely first world problem, but like, we have a lot of laptops, and right now they're all just sitting on the shelf, essentially rotting, because I don't know if you know this, but it discharges over time, and then it can actually go bad if it sits there discharged for too long. Remember, kids. If you got too much discharge, it's always a bad thing. That would have been not that bad until you practiced it with Remember Kids. Ouch. Oh, Ouch. what the oh, hell my. is this thing? <laughs> don't oh ask, my god. Don't does ask have, questions. Does this have like an express card? Why are we even bothering to keep this thing alive? I hate these stock cable ties. They're trash. They're just garbage. Uh, so this is the water-cooled laptop. The laptop can go in the cart, and then we'll just put the water cooler like next to it. Okay, no. Okay, yeah, okay, just, just give it to me. Devices like this, we should really charge and stuff. What is that? They're cool. Yeah, when are you ever gonna use this? Well, never, which is exactly why we need to be charging it so it doesn't die. It's basically just a smartphone with a fat keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, wow, that is something. Honestly, like half of the laptops on the bottom. I've only got, what is this, five, six, seven, eight laptops down here. I've got like 12 power bricks. I can barely even put, like, so it takes up like this much space up here. Proto case, we're gonna need a Rev2. Rev2. I actually don't know how many laptops we have, so I'm about to find out. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. QWERTY laptops. Plus Wanjo laptops. Plus people who have laptops deployed to them. I have two. All the writers have one yeah, each. We probably have like 40 to 50 laptops. Why? Well, whatever the reason for it is, we finally have a safe place to store them. Um, everything from the thin and lights on the top to the sort of like gaming models in the middle um, slash, you know, powerful models like the Mac Pros here. Uh, MacBook Pro rather, to the completely over the top ridiculous ones. Huge shout out to Protocase for sending this over to us. If you can imagine it, Protocase can pretty much build it. How heavy is this thing now? <laughs> like, this is a this is a hard rubber tire. <laughs> we flattened it. Um well. Ting is the mobile carrier that's focused on customer satisfaction. When you call them, you speak to a real person, not an automated phone tree, and you only pay for what you use, with the average Ting bill under $25 per month per device. You don't have to kind of guess if it'll work for you, though. You can go over to linus.ting.com, we'll have that linked below, and use their savings calculator. Enter your last few bills and how much you paid for them, and it'll spit out whether you'd save money on Ting. Then, when you decide to switch to Ting, all you gotta do is go to that link, and you can get 25 bucks towards a service credit. What's cool is that on top of that, if you need to get out of your contract to switch to Ting, Ting will cover 25% of your cancellation fee up to $75. So again, head over to linus.ting.com and check them out. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, you can hit the like button. If you disliked it, you can hit that button too. But uh, otherwise, get subscribed. Uh, check out our merch store. Uh, check out Protocase. These guys are flipping awesome. We love working with them, uh, especially because they send us such cool stuff. Um, what else was I talking about? We have a merch store. We'll have that linked in the video description. Also, our community forum. Whoa. Now it's locked. Now people cannot get any laptops ever again if we lose this key, so let's try not to do that.